Hello, Earthquake Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2 with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we failed to save the princess and stop King Gallum from opening the sealed door and doing something. He didn't really explain what, but it's probably bad. Uh, the Dizzy, or the, sorry, the earthquake ing is kind of making me a little dizzy, so I'm going to try to get out of here before too long, because, like, ugh. Making me a little bit queasy sitting here in between episodes getting ready for this one. Uh, so the king is supposed to be paralyzed with fear and we're carrying him out. Although it looks like he's walking. Just just, just pretend we're carrying him. And uh, oh, things are pretty bad. I, I don't know. Should probably get out of here. It's a pretty extended earthquake. Usually they only last for you know a minute or so. All right, everybody. Battle stations. Strange earthquake. Can barely read with shaking word text lines. Can't even speak. Good. We're safe. That's what counts. Let's get out of here. This place is terrible. Hey, some of the soldiers survived. I thought they all died. I mean... Well, I don't know what you're doing here. Where, where would you go? Chasms! Well, that sounds dangerous. Better watch out. But what if there was a crack in the sea and you fell into the center of the earth on a wave? Alright, let's go to the harbor. That sounds like a great idea. Just watch out for Chasm! Well, I guess those guys didn't make it. It was probably like the last day before their retirement too. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, I know we're in a rush, but you've got to check the hole here for another mithril. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't want to miss something like that. It's important. Oh, man, the school is wrecked! Ah, it's okay. I never liked this place anyway. Hope you guys picked up Kiwi the first time, because you can't get him now! <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going over here? You know, usually when there's an earthquake, there's, like, tidal waves and stuff. It's not necessarily very safe. We can go anytime. Well, let me just check these pots first. There might be something in them. <laughs> now, I already came through and picked up the quick chicken. I don't think there's anything else. So, you just put everybody in town on a boat. Um, I guess there's no time to waste. Like, you gotta get out of here. Alright. Is this, is, this, is this ship built to survive earthquakes or water quakes? I, I don't know. I'm still shaking. So let's just say the island is lost. To the east! To the mainland! Parmesia. That's where those guys captured the, uh, you know, quote, animals that seemed more like humans with fur. Why wouldn't we go to the mainland? Uh, sorry King, you're being, uh, overruled by Sir Astral, <laughs> who is now in charge. <laughs> Don't listen to the King. The magician knows what he's doing. We just sail right up this river. Uh, I mean, it was probably a good idea to leave. You know, just just saying. Uh, staying around might have been the death of us. Also, that would cause a pretty strong current. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that the boat wasn't just sucked back into that and with all the water drained the ocean out. And then I don't know what would happen. We'd have a new a new lower sea level. Um, sort of lake sea thing. You know, like that. As as they do. Well, anywhere but backwards would be fine by me. I mean, uh, the island's toast. I, I won't go back there. All your houses are gone. Probably most of the men are dead. Let's go to new lands. Remember, from the tower you could see all the way to the uh, the other side. Like apparently from the tower in Castle Grand Seal, someone could see the mainland over here. So it can't be that far, right? Sarah apparently not good on boats. I don't blame her. You might miss this conversation a little bit if you did not recruit Kiwi. Or she might have it with someone else actually, I can't remember. I always recruit everybody, you know how it is. 
Oh, yeah, that's good. What a sourpuss king. Oh, yeah. All my people survived. Huh. I guess that's good. Well, all, you know, some. <sighs> Let's just land it right there. That's great. Is there a dock? No, just run it straight into the shore. Um. Yeah, we're not going home ever. I mean, we're just refugees landing on a random shore somewhere. Alright, gently, gently! Um, do you know how to sail a ship, buddy? That's what you call good seamanship, as you crash it into the ground and destroy your ship. Well, that's our home now. Hope you enjoy a broken ship. This is, uh, this is where we're gonna live. Oh, we're just gonna build Grand Seal over again. No problem. Hope you brought some nails. And metal. Hammers. Just break the ship apart with your bare hands. Use the timber to build... I don't know. You can't do much with timber without some nails. I guess Jaha has an axe. He'd probably be good at breaking stuff at least. Nope, we're never going back. Yeah, shut it, Jaha. Everyone's sad about all the dead people and destroyed home world. Home planet. Home home island. I've been playing too many starship games. As an animation you don't see very often. Um, taken out of context. I'm not sure if that's PG-13 or not. Well, he broke the floor and the wall. I'd say that's a win. Except if you were planning on using that wall to build someone's house. So whoever's house that was is not, they're not going to get it. He needed a bath anyway. Didn't mention there were sharks in the ocean here. Oh sure, get me to carry the planks around. You're talking right now. You're not the boss of me. You could carry that plank upstairs. I figured it was worth a try. Or, he's just standing there. Yeah, everyone else is going to build me an awesome town. Or you could do it instead of standing there. Uh, do we do we know that he can swim? Has his head come back up? Or do we just lose a party member for idiocy? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> They're mining granite. Sure, I would expect the, the lack of iron would be more of a problem for, for nails and joices and, and all the things you need to put wood together with other wood. A blacksmith would be very valuable. Awesome, all I had to do was carry it up the stairs. Thank you, boy. Oh, man. We should drop this right on his foot. Mm, you're lucky. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Guess not. Yeah, there's no seal. It's not really... You shouldn't even really call it Grand Seal anymore. It's just an island. Maybe Flood Island or Cavern Island. Something like that. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. We're just in a new land. Just dropped in out of nowhere, started mining. It's probably fine. That's, what are you talking about? Yeah, but come on, you know, you can't trust that kind of report. Fine, he's probably just fallen asleep somewhere. Yeah, so brave. Thanks. I'm sure I'd never find it on my own. Yeah, Jaha. I guess we're gonna take you with us. And everybody! All the kids go for a hike up to North Cliff. Well, I mean, you're pretty useful. Nice to have a mage around. And a healer. Alright. I mean, you're kind of like my force. I don't know if they shine yet, but... 
I got myself a little force. Oh, there he is! He's fine! He's just having a nap, like I said. Oh. Oh dear. You protect it from people mining? You could have just asked us not to and maybe told us where we're allowed to mine. Instead, they're gonna try to kill us. Well, <laughs> the natives are sure friendly. I guess maybe I wouldn't like it if someone just crashed a ship onto my shore and started stealing my rocks. <laughs> anyway, um, all new enemies. So we kind of get a little upgrade in difficulty here on uh, the mainland. So the witch has the freeze spell, which will do eight or nine damage, something like that. Uh, still range two though. The green ooze, almost as strong as those uh, dark smokes actually, but it shouldn't get two attacks. Goblins, also a very strong attack power. Uh, the archers, I guess. So everybody seems to have 22 attack. Um, we're gonna have to be maybe a little more careful than you than we were earlier, because I haven't done any level grinding at all. So, we, we could have a tough fight on our hands. Okay. Try to keep people in the forest, if that makes any difference. I still haven't looked that one up. I know it slows you down, but I'm not sure if it uh, affects your defense or anything. Alright. Jaha, you're going to start moving up. Slade... I have faith Slade will survive. I think Kazin could get a good blaze off if he gets the next turn. I'm just gonna keep Sarah a little bit back. Oh yeah. Oh right! Tort will 100% be one-shot by the Witch. The Freeze spell will definitely kill it. Ah, uh, wrong one. It's a bit of a pain switching back and forth, but... Uh, it's nice to have the option to use the spear for times when you can't get a, a flank attack. Or just a adjacent attack would be the word, I guess. Well, we could use Blaze too, and it would do damage to the Witch, but... She's gonna get a turn pretty much no matter what. I think we might as well just save the MP, finish the ooze, and just sort of roll with it. Level 9! And Muddle. So this kind of like Confuse. It has a chance of having the enemy waste their turn, basically, at least. Oh, she did a physical attack. Well, that's silly. That's not what I would have done. Alright, the Goblin attacks Chester. Another one I don't quite understand. I thought he would have attacked Slade with the lower defense. Oh well. Don't complain. Just take advantage of it when you can. I really need a new sword. Look how small my sword is. It's pitiful. I need a sword plus one here. I kind of put Kiwi in a spot where he can't help out, so... We'll just try to kill these guys if we can. The White Witch is probably the most dangerous, just because she's got magic. Two damage. Eh, I guess we'll heal Chester. I think Sarah still has, uh, three medical herbs, because I haven't used them yet. I know I said it's a good idea to use those, I just haven't needed to yet. Um, so this is a bit of a longer battle. Might get a chance to finally. As long as the white mage can't get to him, he's okay. Or the white witch. I know uh, Kazan's kind of stealing all the M uh, all the experience here, but uh, he's just his turn is coming up at the right time. 
can't fault him for that. Yeah, because if he hadn't killed her, she would have had a turn to attack. And that would have been annoying. Ooh, that that's a pretty good hit. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this goblin before he gets his turn. But I'll try. If everyone can do six damage, we might be able to kill him. Just in case... Oh wait, hold on. I can double check this. Math time! 18 attack. 19... 21. Well, everyone's been doing 6. I kind of have a feeling Slade's only going to do 4 or 5. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's fine. We get the kill. And then it would have been probably would have been the goblins turn next. They tend to all go kind of at the same time. So you know sort of when the group is going to get a turn. Unfortunately, the archer will probably get a free shot at whoever he wants. He might even have enough attack power to just kill Tort. Um, 22, I think he said. Well, no, Tort still has like 24 defense, so... Shouldn't be killed yet, but his amazing defense won't be amazing for that long, trust me. So I'll probably go along the right side. Um, like I'll kill this guy, maybe draw the next one down, and we'll go around the long way. Because there's a bit less mountains, it's a bit easier to move around. We'll see how I feel, though. The archer's gonna get a chance. Sorry, the hunter goblin is gonna get a chance. Yeah, they definitely hit hard. You would not want to be swarmed by these guys at our current level. You know, one or two at a time, it's no big deal, but. Come on, level up? Oh, yeah. So one thing you might notice is that uh, Kiwi, or Tort, he has a pretty good, um... Like, he's not slowed down by force as much as some of our characters. It's like, um, Chester, although he has seven movement, I think he can only move two tiles per turn through straight forest. So, um... There are movement types as well as the total movement points. Heal level two is a nice one. It's nice to have that option now for, uh, well, I'll show that off. Basically, same amount of healing, but, um, you can heal at a range of two now. So I don't have to move her right side by side to have a chance to help out. It's no aura, and it does cost, uh, five MP instead of three, but... I'll probably use it a couple times, at the very least. I kind of wish I had an archer or something. Like, I'm missing someone- I'm missing ranged attackers. We have Kazin with ranged magic, and Chester with a ranged spear that's not that great. And that's all we've got for, uh, options. So right, um, heal level 2, you can heal further away, uh, but it costs almost twice as much and heals the same amount. You're just- you're paying for that range. So don't use it unless you need it, basically.
Uh, Jah has not been able to help out, so I'll start moving him along the other way. You know, if you can get a kill here, Kiwi, of course not. Now, I'll just give it to Kazan. Yep. I was considering spreading it out, but giving the kill to somebody else, but might as well give it to our mage. He's doing a good job. So, hold on, do I want to go... I generally don't like going through this mountain range just to fight those two. I usually go this way to deal with those guys first, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll have a couple cold turns. I probably could have lured one of them down to attack me, but... Yeah, I'm going to go to the right first. You'll also see kind of like, um... Once you pick a path, I think there's probably um, sort of checkpoints or something on the map. Once you get to a certain point, I think the game thought we were going along the north route, so all of the people on the south are trying to, you know, ambush us from the back now. Um, which is fine, because it brings them closer to us anyway, which is sort of what I want. Well, Slade has good movement, so he doesn't have to be too close. Yeah, see, those guys were backing up kind of to lure us in if we went through the mountains and then these guys would have got us from behind in the middle of a big long battle with we basically would have been fighting all the units on the map at about the same time if we weren't careful so by pulling back like that it just sort of makes it a little bit safer I still think Chester is doing pretty well so far. Jaha can definitely take a hit from the archer. Jaha is doing really well as well. I mean, most of our level ups are just plus one to everything. It's not like... The only thing they could be missing out on is not getting any stats. They're not going to get a whole lot of twos at this level. Is that worth that hit? Ah, fine. She'll get a little bit of experience. Oh, I actually nearly killed it. Nice try, Sarah. Nice try. Chester, finish off. I like to leave the most powerful weapon equipped, just in case I accidentally, uh forget to change weapons or something. Job Chester, getting those HPs. Ah, uh, that should be okay. Two attacks. See, against the right character, that would have killed them. Like if they had if they'd been able to attack uh Sarah probably or a Kazan, that might have been enough to just kill them in one turn. How much time do we have? That guy's probably going to attack us. I think that ooze is coming for us too. Try to get some melee units kind of ready for him. The uh, archer here is actually in a position where we can box him in. So even if we aren't able to kill him, it doesn't really matter. And you could actually farm a kill for your healer very easy in this situation. And maybe I'll show that off. just gotta move Kiwi out of the way, basically. And as long as you don't put anyone within two range of him, uh, he can't move, and he can't hurt us. Pro Strats works on archers, and that's just about it. See, he can't even attack the fool. And I am gonna let Sarah get that kill, because I feel like it's appropriate. She's starting to lag behind a little bit on levels. And then I'll let the rest of the team deal with the, uh, the ooze. Yeah, it's not even going to take that long. One more turn, she'll kill it.
Now, some oozes also have a special attack that they use every now and then. That instead of counting as a normal physical attack that would normally apply your um, defense to, they have like a magical attack that will do a fairly set damage. I don't know if the green oozes have it or not, but if they do, that would probably kill Kiwi, because uh, magical damage ignores defense and stuff. I actually don't want to kill him with Kazan. Kazan has been getting too many kills. I'd rather someone else got the finisher. Ah, Slade can't quite make it. Well, I'll leave Slate over for the, uh, the Goblin to come down. I'm just gonna leave, uh, Blue here. Uh, Sarah will almost surely kill him unless she misses, but... Should be fine. Could have moved out of the way, basically. Anyway, I figure showing off the Archer Trapping Strat would be something I should show off every now and then. It's got some good tactical uses. Hey, Kiwi getting a kill? Why not? There you go, he got some HP. That's really the trick with him. If he has... If you can somehow get him good HP growth, he'll actually be pretty good. But usually he runs really low on HP, and whenever you fight somebody that's got magic, he's totally a liability and he can just get killed. Even though he's really good physical defense for now, that won't... That won't last forever, and magic will just totally wreck him, basically. Another level up for Sarah, maybe? She's gotta be close. Oh yeah. I think she gets a special treat at level 10. in case the goblin could have attacked him. Oh well, now that I know Chester could block it, he would have been fine. <laughs> and furthermore, Blue could just get right in his face. Oh yeah! Blue is just gonna destroy this thing. Who needs a teammate when you've got people like Blue? <laughs> 12 damage. That's pretty good. And Slade, there you go! That's more like my my little rat man. So, uh, yeah, you got any questions there, Mr. Mrs. Witch? I think it's time for you to give in. Seeing as medical herbs are cheap, and I can use the experience, might as well. So, I guess we'll go through the mountain range after all. Now that all of the, uh pesky back attack guys are out of our way. Now they get really good movement, so they've kind of got the choice on when they get to attack us. Because they're able to, uh... zip right through, like... they're not slowed down by mountains hardly at all. Unfortunately, our guys are. Uh, I'll just team up for now. Group up. Yeah, those knights, they don't like mountains much. I'm just gonna move two up. The rest, of, like, uh, land units like heroes and, um, warriors, they can move three through mountains usually, rather than knights that move two. Um, Slade has, like, good forest movement, so he can get through pretty smoothly. Maybe even better in the mountains. But he's, he's got a special movement type a little bit. You can see Kiwi is barely slowed down at all. Unfortunately, the witch would just destroy him. Mages get two through forests. There she comes. Yeah, it hurts, but at least it didn't kill him.
Yeah, level 10. Unfortunately, that's not promotion 10. Um... I think we'll be able to kill her. If she survives and gets an ice spell on Tort, he is dead, but... He's doing a good job getting some damage in there. I'll just... I don't think Sarah is going to get into the battle in time to help out, so I'll just let her heal herself and get some XP. I thought the warrior would be able to move three tiles rather than two. Wow, she got a turn really quick there. Ooh, that was close. Like, Slade didn't even get a turn. That was... that's a situation where the enemy seems to get two turns in a row due to agility being kind of dumb. We're just lucky she didn't cast magic on him or Kiwi, because they'd be dead. Come on, Chester. Sure not to come around our place anymore. This is... this is our mountain. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, Slade... I guess you can just take a break. I'm lucky I got to move him or he might have been killed here. Look, Goblin, all your friends are dead. And I am taking this mountain for the greater good. Even my little turtle friend's gonna show you what's what. Always switching back and forth with Chester. I kind of hope he doesn't kill it, actually. Ah, uh, just barely. Would have been nice to give someone else another level up, but it's fine. Everyone say hello to Mr. Train in the background. Alright, so the guy that was having a nap was totally having a nap. Oh yeah, sure, a rock fell on you. I didn't see any rocks. Yeah, where is that rock? Uh, I guess it rolled away. Told you it was napping. We came to check on you because you had a nap. Yeah, you probably would have slept to death. Oh yeah, a huge rock fell on me. Knocked me out and then rolled away in somewhere you can't see. Oh, look at that! The tunnel is blocked by rocks too! Haha, <laughs> interesting! I have no idea what that tunnel's for, but I guess we're not going that way. Ah, uh, could have got some treasure, that's right. Loot! These guys, they know what's important. Naps and treasure. Yeah, yeah. So, back to the ship. But wait! The ship... It's been torn apart! They're really quick at breaking ships. And just like that, we've got ourselves a town. That sure was fast! As soon as they got the kids out of the way, they just got to work and fix the town up. They worked hard to build their new town. Alright, folks. That's all for this episode. We'll talk about one year later next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day.